Hi, my name is Ben Rakes. I'm with Mason and Associates, and I wanted to talk to you about the fund options that you have available within your TSP. Everyone you've probably talked to has said, well, there's really only five fund options, Ben. How, how complicated can it get? I've got my C fund, I've got my S, my I, my F, and my G. What else do you want me to do? Well, we wanted to spend a little bit of time today talking about the other fund options that you have available and really focus on those life cycle funds and how they can be either a good thing or, or a bad thing, depending on what you're looking for. So the life cycle funds within your TSP change in increments of five years, and the earliest available option as of this recording is the 2025 fund. Then they go in increments of five all the way to the 2060 fund. Now, based on which fund you are automatically enrolled in, because that's a new that's a new change as well, is you're not automatically enrolled in the G fund anymore, you're automatically enrolled in the life cycle funds that corresponds with your age. Based on which one you're automatically placed in is gonna determine how risky or how uh, conservative your investment allocation is. For example, as of now, the 2065 fund is invested in essentially 99% equities. When we think of equities, we think of a little bit more aggressive than the bonds. That's going to be your offense and the growth in your portfolio. The 2025 fund is invested in only 40% equities. The L income fund is invested in 25% equities. So based on when you were born, the federal government has essentially decided, here's how risky you're going to be. Here's how conservative you're going to be. When we know what Mason and Associates, by working with all types of clients, your risk profile is not necessarily just determined by your age. You could be someone who is incredibly young but doesn't want to take any risk in the market because that's just your risk appetite. You might also be someone who is 65, 70 years old and still working. You've been invested in an all equity portfolio all your life and you don't want to be conservative. Well, if you're in these life cycle funds, it's going to automatically adjust on your behalf. So a couple of things to consider. One, if you're a person who wants to control your investment allocation, these life cycle funds are not for you because one, they are going to rebalance daily and then every three months, based on you getting older and those life cycle funds changing, you're going to be less and less and less aggressive within your portfolio. That's not something that you may want. So again, if you want control, these funds are not for you. On the inverse side, if you're someone who says, I never log into my TSP, I don't know anything about investments at all, just put me in something that I can set it and forget it, these will work really nicely for you. Um, but we think working with a qualified professional, a financial planner who knows federal employees' benefits, you need to talk to somebody that knows these TSP funds. Otherwise, you could be in a set it and forget it fund when really you need to be in something that is actually matched to your allocation, your desires, and your risk appetite within your portfolio. Again, if, if we don't set our investment allocation for ourselves, the government is going to do it for us, and that's not necessarily something that we want to do. Um, we just wanted to touch on these funds, give you a little bit more information about this. Again, we love talking about these issues. We love answering questions about your TSPs. Please leave a comment in the description. Ask us any questions that you may have, and we'll see you next time.